Well, welcome back to Unruly Guides, the step-by-step ebook formatting kit tutorial. Now, before we start splitting pages and renaming pages and working in Sigil, I want to do a little bit of HTML cleanup first while everything is in the one long content XHTML file. Now you notice, remember I told you about if you put page breaks in your Word file that they're going to come in kind of odd. And in this particular one, it's strong, has a break, clear equals all, and a strong. We want to remove that. Now ideally, in the older versions of Sigil, you could just highlight this and go find and replace with nothing and it replaces it, but not anymore. What you have to do, and I have supplied this in the quick guide, is that if your string looks like this, like strong or bold, is on one line and then they're all spaced out like this, you need to add this backslash s, which is a spacer, and a plus sign. So that means you have a, an expression, a space, plus another one, and a space, plus another one. So you can just simply highlight this string. I allow you to do that. Go edit and go copy. So now you have it copied to your clipboard. There's another weird thing that's going to happen. But first, I want to show you, I'm going to scroll up here, here's the break. Show you what the error looks like. Here's the validation for EPUB in Sigil. Now it's a limited one. Now a lot of these top errors have to do with it can't find the chapters, chapter 2, chapter 3, the pages, because I haven't made them yet. Same with the TOC and CX file. It's something about chapter 2, chapter 3. Do not worry about those right now. The content has an error with U, which is underline. Remember we made an underline in the original Word file. And then here's this attribute clear is not declared for element BR. Now we want to replace that and just remove it from the file. So what you're going to do is go Command or Control F and that brings up the find replace. Now it might be filled with things, you want to remove that. In the find you're going to paste what you had just copied from my uh, the quick guide. Now you're going to replace it with nothing and you're going to put the mode as regx which is um, regular expression. You're going to keep it at the current file. Now if I go and find right now it won't find any and that's because of these little quote marks. There's something different in the PDF compared to the actual expression. So an easy thing to do is just highlight this expression, the exact one, go Command or Control C, and then you're going to highlight it in here. Be careful not to delete any backslashes. You can do this in a text editor program first and then paste it back in. And you're going to command or delete it and go Command or Control V and paste it back in. Now you could, if you want to, just try deleting these quotes and putting in new ones. That might work. Again, let's try and find, and see now it did find it. So it is these quote marks that are acting kind of odd, and that's why they have to be exact. What you're going to do is replace all with nothing. And so now all these weird breaks and clear equals all breaks will be gone. If you're using an older version of Sigil, which I kind of recommend sometimes getting two versions, you can actually open this in an older version, just highlight the error, paste it in here, replace with nothing, and it does it. But now with the update, you have to do all these other things, which is kind of annoying. Now the other thing we want to change out is the underline. Now the underline is up here at the top, and you can see here it's for Kali. It's an opening and closing U. What we need to do is take out the opening U, Oops, sorry. and we want to replace it with a string called span a space, class equals quote, underline, close quote, and the close bracket. So we're going to find and we're going to replace all. And you can see that it did it here, but now I need a closing span. So you take the op closing underline tag and you want to close it with a, the correct closing tag. And then you just go replace all and you can see that it's correct now. So that should fix those errors. We'll run it again real quick. And you can see that those last two errors are gone. So now we're ready to move on to splitting the chapters and finishing up your ebook.